This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, February 8th, 2012. In Canada, current radar from Environment Canada shows very little precipitation in all of the southern provinces. The jet stream is currently positioned over Ontario and Quebec. Fallout can occur even without precipitation. However, I would not consider Canada to be high risk at this time. In the U.S., Alaskan radar shows moderate precipitation southeast of Anchorage without jet stream overlay. Hawaii remains free of the jet stream as well. However, it will be moving on shore today from the Canada-Washington border south to Fresno. Intellicast current radar shows precipitation associated with this in both Washington and Oregon for today. Idaho, Montana, northern Nevada, and northern Utah starting this evening into tomorrow. There's high potential for fallout in this region as large steam releases were visualized at Fukushima three days ago, as well as multiple overheating spent fuel pools. Please refer to the EPA monitors for fallout data. There is also an area of rain snow mix stretching from Ohio to Massachusetts and southward to Tennessee and South Carolina where it changes to rain. Due to jet stream overlay and possible additional fallout from Byron, Illinois, this area would also be considered high risk. In Europe, another strong water vapor loop will be moving through the UK today and Scandinavia tomorrow. The northern coast of Spain may also be affected, as well as continued precipitation in the southeastern area of Europe. At the time of this report, Yurdep is offline. Nuke event update. San Onofre continues to be shut down, although San Diego EPA graphs show a large spike occurred over the past two days. An attempt was made to restart the Byron reactor on February the 7th. However, according to the NRC website, another event occurred and the process was halted. They report no radioactive material was released. The Moscow Research Facility fire appears to have been preceded by a large explosive event. Please see a video on FukushimaFacts.com. No radiation data, unfortunately, is available for Moscow. A new radioactive event was reported in Vermont where high levels of cesium and strontium have been found in fish in Lake Chalmie. These levels are similar to radioactive fish found previously in the Connecticut River adjacent to the Vermont Yankee nuclear plant. As there are major failures occurring in multiple nuke sites worldwide, Orion will continue to bring you updates so that you may assess and implement risk mitigation. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.